Hello everybody, this is another video um, for caring your, uh, taking care of your Venus flytrap and as you all know Venus flytraps are carnivorous plants so you have to feed them once in a while to provi provide them with the nutrients, minerals for them to live because they cannot take in um, um, this uh, nutrients from the medium like by using fertilizers because they don't really like minerals in their potting medium in <clears throat> in this case I'm using uh, sphagnum moss and just distilled water to provide it with moisture but in terms of this nutrition we have to provide it with our own or with with we have to provide it in our own in our own way it's food so um, since I don't have live um, insects to feed it like ants flies or uh, fungus gnats I'm gonna do uh, an alternative which a lot of people online do is to feed it with blood worms so you could get this from pet shops this is a food typically used for betta fish and it's in freeze-dry form so it's very dry so it doesn't stink and you could just put it in your pantry or your your even your 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 cabinets for other stuff so um, it's very easy to to um, to store and you just get a few specks of the worms so this is actually a lot already so this is just like even less than a pinch of blood worms and <clears throat> You just add a drop of water, uh, 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 add a drop or two, okay, that should be enough. And then by using a toothpick, you mix it together until it becomes very moist like a paste. So why do we do this? Because um, they don't take in really dried um, food it, if you actually s have seen this uh, plants in the wild they actually eat live food which moves so that's another obstacle that we have to uh, to figure out because once it doesn't move it would open again and then it won't eat the food and then we have just you know uh, we failed in, in that way that we haven't really fed our uh, plant so so you took you take in even just like a small portion depending on the size of the of the trap usually i just take in some like two three to five pieces and then i just collect it like this like a ball make it sh shape it like a ball at the tip of a toothpick and then so i have it all right okay and then go to the trap that you want to feed okay so i just usually feed one or two that should be enough for a week or two okay all right and then you just put it in like that and then it traps all right did you catch it maybe i have to do another one okay let me do another one okay but before we do that we have to um, to activate the um, enzymes that uh, that would trigger digestion. All right. So in the wild, the the food struggles and then it becomes tighter and tighter until it releases its juices to to um, to digest the food. So since we since the food is dead, we have to. Do it this way until it seals in the food inside you would actually see you would actually see uh, like a sealing um, uh, mechanism at the around the the lip of the of the trap in about like you know in about one hour or so but the, to be sure that it won't reopen again make sure that um, uh, try to stimulate the trap every 10 seconds uh, 10 minutes or so so it won't open back 
if it hadn't opened for more than an hour, you're good to go. So that's already a, a success for feeding a trap. Let me just do another one for for a better. Um, so I'm just gonna take another ball. Okay. This yeah, this gets a little bit of getting used to, but it's not so it's not so hard. That's my dog, sorry about that. Yum yum. Yum yum. No. Okay, so I have the ball here of food. And then you go to the um the um next trap that you want to feed. Okay, so I'm gonna feed this one. There it goes. Oops, tangled in. No. Just put this out here. Alright, so I have two. Two traps fed. And then you do the same thing. Just gently squeeze it so it would seal in the food. Alright. And that's how you feed your Venus flytrap. Alright. Do you have any suggestions of how you um feed your venus flytrap let me know in the comment section and then i'll let you know if i uh, i could do that too like give me some tips because i've been i've been taking care of this for almost four months now or five months something like that and uh, from about seven to ten traps now they're about i don't know i don't know how many like they should be like close to 20 and um, yeah, it's very easy to take care of just as long as you don't provide it with um, water that has minerals in it because they don't like it. And then on the winter time, give them uh, a winter rest. So basically expose them to a little bit of a drop in temperature and don't uh, water them that much. Um, yeah, and then it's just quite easy. Just like that. It's not so hard of a, of a, a plant. And also, it also takes care of my fungus gnat uh, infestation with my orchid, orchids. So I really uh, like this plant uh, as a companion for orchids. Alright, so thank you for watching and happy growing. Bye-bye. Yum yum.